But good morning, it's Nancy today. Well, there's trouble in paradise. Yes. I'll tell you what happened. Last night in the dark, my mom has these little tiny plastic cups in the bathroom. And I used one of those little cups. I use the same one all the time. And I went to put it back on the shelf above the toilet. And I heard it fall and I heard it bounce. I thought it hit the floor, but the spirit told me it might have gone in the toilet. But it was like 2.30 in the morning. I didn't want to get looking. Oh, watch, going around the corner. I didn't want to walk. I didn't want to turn on the light and search for it because I didn't want the light to wake up my mom or to alert her to the fact that I was up because sometimes she worries about why I'm up. And rightly so because I'm up late. <laughs> anyway, um, see if I can cover that sun for you. Anyway, so um, this morning she went to the washroom and flushed and the toilet filled and filled and filled with water. So what has happened now is I believe that little cup fell into the toilet, sunk, it's only a little tiny cup, and it has been lodged in the pipe, in the plumbing. I called the plumber, mom was like, let's call the plumber right now, let's call the plumber. I hope she doesn't call the plumber when I'm gone. I said, I felt, I, so I found the plumber, and I said, well, how are you going to, what would you do? And he said, well, we turn the toilet over and we push it out. Hmm. Well, and how much would that cost me? $140 an hour. $140 an hour. Man, I'd be so rich. I can do that. I can do difficult things. I mean, how hard is all that? However, it's my mother's house. I don't want to take the toilet off in her house. I think that would just freak her out. I mean, she knows. She trusts me. Anyway, it's a lot of work. I don't want to do a lot of work. But now, I sat there and I thought about it and thought about it. Well, I didn't sit. I was looking for a snake. But then I thought, well, I don't want to push it in further because what if it gets stuck in the pipe further? And then, it's like, how are you going to get that out? So, I've got to pull it out. Well, if I can't reach it, I emptied the water out. Everything that was in the toilet is emptied out. I reached in there and I couldn't reach it with my hand. Of course, you know, my arm is only so long, so I could get in about to it by wrist. It's nothing. Nice clean water. So I thought I need to suck it out. So a shop vac sucks up water. So if I get myself a shop vac, mom doesn't have one because they call the plumber. But at 140 bucks an hour, you know, it's just a lot of money. A lot of money. I mean, 140 bucks, that's a lot of money. And that's only for one hour. What if it's more? It might be less. Anyway. And if they need to replace things, like they would have to replace the rubber or the wax seal on the bottom of the toilet, which costs about $7. But if you're buying it from somebody that that charges, he's texting over there. If you buy it from someone that charges um, $140 an hour for labor, wow. Anyway, don't go there. It's shop vac. A shop vac can um, suck out water. It'll go into this big tub. It's very loud, it's very powerful, and it's only about 30 bucks. I bought one for Elida. I thought she needed a vacuum that was good, so I bought her a shop vac, because it'll suck up anything. Anyway, so um, I'm going to get one of them, and I'm going to see if I can suck that cup out. If I have to call the plumber, I can still call the plumber. I mean, I'm going to be 30 bucks out, but I don't want to push it through. I think it'll work. If it is clogging the whole thing so the water is only slightly going out, it's not like I'm just going to be sucking forever. It's going to, it's suck, it's stuck in there and when I, and it's a very little cup and it cannot be very tightly stuck because it's just the power of the water, which is only from one flush. So that's my plan. So I'm driving out here. I would rather be sleeping, but you know, it is 
I shouldn't stay up till 2.30 in the morning, but it was so nice to visit with everybody. And I don't, I don't have to feel guilty when I'm online and nobody is needing me, you know? I'm kind of antisocial when I'm online. I just focus on the computer. I mean, what kind of a, what kind of companionship does that give you? Okay, would I be better off at Home Depot or at Lowe's? Let's go to Lowe's. It's on the side of the road. <laughs> Walmart probably has them too. Maybe Walmart would be the cheapest place to go. Yeah, I'll check out Walmart first. Because they have to be undercutting everybody else so people will come here. garden like a teddy bear up a little up a little tickle you one over there okay lady you stay right where you are oh and while I'm here at Walmart maybe I should buy some tomato plants get this garden in for my mom okay well no handicap sign here okay and remember now everybody life. This is not an emergency. This is just a test. Hey, today's general conference starts at noon. I got to get home in time to listen to it. I hope that guy doesn't shut down the internet. Okay, well, you saw it here last. Ta-ta.